Welcome back to the channel. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all well. Uh, I thought I'd just do a bit of vloggage today. I've just come out for a little run on the CRF and thought I'd bring you along with me. I'll give you a bit of an update on the, uh, the ZX9R. Uh, and also, just have a chat with you, see what your plans are this year. So, ZX9R, yeah, ZX9R is going really well. Bike's fully stripped down now. I've got the engine in two pieces, currently sat on my floor, so I've taken the cylinder head off. And I'm currently just working on the cylinder head. That's going well. I've uh, removed all the valves, all of that stuff. Cleaned the head. It's come up really clean. Cleaned out all the channels. Made sure everything's uh, nothing's blocked. That's all good. I've just got three exhaust studs that are proving to be a pain in the neck to get off. I've sort of tried the usual methods of um, locking nuts on them, heating them up, mole grips all that sort of stuff but uh, they're refusing to come off so I've taken them to uh, an engineering like a an engine shop in Chorley sort of said any chance you could try and get these off for us um, and I think what they'll probably end up doing is welding something to them and getting them out that way which I did try but I've only got a cheap Amazon welder uh, and I wasn't able to uh, Get a decent enough bite i don't think on the uh, on, on the nut and it wasn't working as soon as i got the torque wrench on the nut i was just ripping it off the end of the bolt again so hopefully they'll have better luck and i'll get that back in the next couple of days and i can uh, rebuild that still not lap the valves but uh, that's the next thing when i get the head back i'll lap the valves reseat all of them and get it all back together oh no it's bad news and it's february and this is the first time i've been out on this bike that time of year in it but, uh, I was hoping to put that right because last year I didn't really do that much on this bike didn't really get that many miles done and I still love it I've had it 18 months now the CRF 300L great bike I just yeah just not really got out on it nowhere near enough you know what it's like you let life get in the way no excuses really just I've been a bit lazy I suppose yeah it's good to get out on this little thing I've mainly ridden the uh, the Super Adventure recently, so to get back on this, it feels dead, it feels tall but light. It feels like a toy again. It's uh, it's great. Yeah, I'm really torn what to do with my KTM. I'm at a bit of a crossroads with it because don't know if you saw in my 12 month review video. I've been struggling with my lower back, with my tailbone, uh, and that bike, because of the upright nature of the bike, seems to be really bad for sort of aggravating it and after an hour of riding I'm in quite a bit of discomfort now I love the bike and when you get on it when you get on the lanes it's probably one of the best adventure bikes you can get for that for hooning hoonage but when you're just doing a motorway stint like you do when you're trying to do big miles uh, I'm just struggling with it because of the comfort so with the new GS coming out and stuff like that it's got me thinking is this is the KTM still the right bike for me I'm hoping it is because like I say I love the bike but the reality is if I can't sit on it for an hour if I can't spend more than an hour on it without being uncomfortable then perhaps it's not the right bike for me so I'm not sure what to do may I think my s 1000 rr is due a service, it's been whinging it needs a service for a while. It doesn't really, it's just because of the time, it's not because of mileage. Uh, it's been over 12 months. So I'm thinking I'm going to get it booked in for a service, take it down to BMW Motorrad at, uh, at Preston there. And book a test ride on the GS at the same time. Now part of me is hoping I have the same problem on that bike, because then it tells me that it's my problem and not a problem with the bike. But the other part of me doesn't want to have the problem because then then I've got the solution. You know, the solution is to change the KTM. So oh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm really torn because like I said, I do love the KTM. But the reality is I'm not comfortable on it after any period of time. So I, I need to scratch the itch. I need to go and test ride a GS. Uh, and then if I find that the GS if I don't have that problem on the GS, then I'm not saying I'm going to have a GS, but I'm going to then start looking at some of the alternatives. So 
the three that stand out are obviously the GS, the Triumph Tiger 1200 and the Multistrada. Now I have ridden the Multistrada and really liked it but I only had half an hour 40 minutes on it so I didn't really get a true flavour for that bike. So if I do start test riding these bikes I'm going to try and book a test ride that are like a full afternoon so I can get some good miles in, spend quite a lot of time on the saddle and whatnot. So what are the rest of you got planned for the year biking wise? Uh, I'm all, I've got a, few, a couple of things booked. I'm hoping to do a lot more this year than I did last year. Last year kind of it just kind of went didn't it? it? came and went. I don't really feel like I achieved much. I certainly I traveled plenty with the family. We had quite a few good holidays but in terms of biking adventures we really didn't get up to much so hoping to put that right this year. Got the ABR festival booked in the summer really looking forward to that that'll be our third time going there going up on the Thursday night um, yeah I'm kind of looking forward to that probably do what we what we always do we say before we get there like we'll, we'll see this and we'll go and see them and we'll listen to that talk and listen to that and then we just spend the whole weekend on the trails <laughs> and miss it all but, uh, we'll see uh, what else have we got planned? Also, I've got um, off to the Picos in Spain. Five day trip there, Richie Vida. Looking forward to that. Um, have you seen where he is at the minute? God, he doesn't half inspire you, doesn't he? He's, uh, he's in Morocco, isn't he? He's, he spent a couple of days and just went for it from the, from the looks of it, from what I can see. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just mega. Certainly inspires you to get off your ass and go and have a, a, a decent adventure, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm hoping to have a few of them myself. Get out camping a little bit more this year. Me, uh, my dad's hoping to pass his test this, this year. He's, he's got into biking. I've inspired him to pass his bike test. So he's riding a, a 125 at the minute, but uh, he's done his theory test and hopefully he'll get his practical done soon and uh, yeah I'm hoping to to see him on something bigger he's, uh, he's got his, his hopes on a, a Honda CB500X which I think will be a great first bike for him it's sort of a natural progression from the uh, CB125F he's riding now so well, yeah so yeah so he's wanting to uh, he's wanting to get a few camping trips in as well he's already started sort of collecting his camping his gear, he's got a tent and a fire and a stove and all sorts, so yeah, really looking forward to sharing some of those adventures with him. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get some kind of some training in this year of some form. I'm not sure what that looks like, whether it would be something like California Superbike School, you know, and get on the track, or something like BMW Off-Road Skills. Not sure, I just fancy doing a, a little something. It's always good to do something like that in it and try and better yourself. I'll, uh, as usual, if I can, I'll try and take the cameras along with me and share that, uh, that journey. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you've got planned this year. It'd be, uh, be great to hear from you. It'd be great to cross paths somewhere, maybe like the ABR, meet, uh, meet some folk and have a drink with you. The other thing I'm hoping to do this year is the uh, it's Richie Vida's Wild Bad Weekender. I've not done one yet. The last couple of years it's fallen on a date when uh, I couldn't make it. School holidays and stuff like that. But this year I'm hoping to be able to get there. We'll see. Uh, the other thing I want to do this year that I've not done yet is to get out on a clan ride out. Teapot One clan. You know, I'm a member of the clan, but uh, again, I've just not been able to to line up the dates. It's like this year, I was really looking forward to when they announced that Northumberland one, which is coming up. Really looking forward to that, but then it's fallen on a, it's a bank holiday weekend, isn't it? And more than likely, we'll be doing something with the family, taking a car around somewhere. So I've probably missed the boat on that now anyway, but... Uh, that's a bit of a shame, but yeah, I'm hoping before the end of the year I get out on a clan meetup somewhere.
<sighs> so yeah that's pretty much it for this one short and sweet uh, zx9 our project's coming along nicely um i'm hoping to get the head finished before i put the next episode together so that episode will be taking the head off stripping it down reconditioning it and rebuilding it uh, and then like i say hopefully i'll get a video out on that soon uh, and then i'll move on to the rest of it so the the rest of the engine going to change the rings and stuff like that rehome the, the cylinders and then start on the frame uh, trip wise yeah abr picos in summer hoping to get some more stuff booked though hoping to do a, a track day this year if i can uh, pull my finger out and lose some weight to uh to get some leathers on <laughs> and then yeah i'd really like to get a track day done this year uh, and yeah just more camping just getting out there uh, yeah that's pretty much it so until next time stay safe bye